What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of myinvestingclub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at myinvestingclub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. Let's do it. All right, kiddos. So this is round three. Big Let's cap open. trading webinar. Let's get it. Round three. Round three. Fight. Yeah. Ding, 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 Fight. Ding. <laughs> That's fun. March 10th, 2020. We've been in a crazy, crazy market. So we're going to talk about trading during market volatility, how to do it, and some of the best practices to have. But first, before we jump into that, like we did last week, we're gonna do a little market analysis, but we're gonna do it a little different. So this week, we've got a lot of headlines that continue to pop up, and the market continue to, continues to react in very different ways. It seems that the market does the opposite of what everybody thinks it's going to do. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna see what the thoughts are here, bearish or bullish. First headline is Trump to seek payroll tax relief to help calm the financial markets. Basically, today, he mentioned this, that he wants to, he's proposing 0% payroll tax across the board for a period of time. Well, uh, I think that means we're gonna have to short trader tax, CPA LLC. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that this particular headline is bullish because mm. it immediately gives the middle class a raise right? And the middle class is the lifeline to the markets. It's basically a strong middle class has proven that when there's a strong middle class, the U.S. economy is, is never stronger. So when you give the middle class, it's different from a Fed rate cut because the federal rate cut encourages debt, right? It encourages more people to go out and extend themselves further beyond their means at a cheaper amount of money, right? Mm -hmm. But if you combine a payroll tax relief for a period of time, not only do you have low Fed rates at that point, but a payroll tax cut, <laughs> I mean, <coughs> I don't know if you've ever had a real job, Sam, but <laughs> yeah, in, the, yeah. in the world of real jobs- It sucks compared it to trading, fucking but- sucks when you mm -hmm. shell out 25, 26% of your fucking check Dude. to the government. I mean, I that is just, painful bro i used to work in like this warehouse and get minimum wage and like half it fucking goes away and i'm like dude what the fuck and then like you know trading it's like you can make like a 100 bucks in like you know whatever a couple minutes and it's like fuck it just makes you so humble but yeah so like there. brian mentioned there it's 15 percent payroll tax if you own a business 15.3 percent is the payroll tax half that if it if a uh, w-2 employee so either way you look at it it's an immediate pay raise to the people that receive the checks they don't have to qualify for more spending they don't have to qualify for jack shit it's an immediate pay raise and it's a tax relief program so it's not going to be there forever it's not a permanent tax cut um would be sick i'm kind of i'm bullish on that i think it's yeah healthy. i think it sounds bullish but then uh, it goes back to what you said of, you know, the market does the fucking opposite. So Right, yeah. We'll see. Next I don't know. Is, we'll see if a uh, gap down maybe. Trump says he's working with the cruise and airline industries on the coronavirus without offering any details. <laughs> We're working very closely with them. We're helping them. They're two great industries. <laughs> That's how we talk. helping them through this patch. That's bearish as shit to me for the market. For the market. And Obviously, says, uh, for, these, for these cruise companies, no. that could be bullish. But I hate the idea of the government handing free fucking money to these, to these fucking cruise companies. I hate the idea of it. I think it's dumb. Yeah, and it says without any details. Without offering right, yeah, details. It, it, like, it, I don't it, know the fucking details, dog. I'm an investor. Yeah, and Brian said what I what I've been thinking the whole time. It reminds me of the automotive bailout when the government bailed out GM, and it nothing good comes from that. Is that and during uh, 08? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's during 08. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, nothing good comes from it. So I think if if we latch on to this idea, like if he latches on to this help the cruise industry and bail them out, that's when I turn bearish again. And I'm like, nope, because that, that I mean, that's just like, it makes no sense to me to help the fucking cruise and airline market. I, I, it mm, makes they no brought sense. the shit over here in the first place. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm I, kidding. So let's talk about some rules to help people <clears throat> safe in this market. If you've never traded in a market like this and you're looking to trade big caps, what are the things you need to be doing? First of those Patience. is <laughs> actually being a sniper in this particular situation. If you're early or late on either side of the trade, you could seriously sit through a really bad drawdown. Mm -hmm. Oh, is, yeah. That's why it's patience. Yep. Being a sniper. Dude, it is 1000% patience. If you are early or late on either side, mm. if you're early on the long, you're going to get smoked. If you're late on the long, you're going to get smoked. If you're early on the short, you're going to get smoked. If you're late on the short, you're going to get smoked. Every line, single you're getting smoked. time, <laughs> if you find yourself being too early or too late, you just need to stop for the day. Maybe stop for the next day, realign yourself, and get back in line with what you need to be doing. Next, be quick to take profit and quick to cut a loser. Don't let a winner turn into a loser either. So Apple, if Apple breaks down tomorrow and I don't get any continuation, I will do everything I can to sell the calls at break even. Oh man, I like that's the best thing ever. Just if you're in the money, just break even stuff. Simple as Bro, that. Bro, you said it. You said it in like a video, like a live trade video, like oh, mm -hmm. fuck, it was like last year or some shit. It's been a while, mm -hmm. but you said it like mm -hmm. you're like, dude, after I start to take profit. I move my stock to break even. Always. Anytime, even if it's like, I get like a, you know, 20 cent pop, that kind of thing. Yeah. You know, I mean, it depends on the stock, obviously. But, um, you know, just typically, like if I have a chance, I'll at least take some off break even. Because, you know, the thought is, is let's say I long or whatever. Like, I mean, I never long. But okay, let's say I short, you know, 21 line, whatever. I'm in at 2190. And 22 stuffs, whatever, tanks to, to 2170, but I don't lock any in. And then out of nowhere, it pushes back to, 2190 you know i've let's say 2000 shares right there at 2190 you know let's say i, I have an opportunity where let's say there's an offer or whatever i can get out some then okay I, it just makes sense to me to just take off half there at break even at least so i have a thousand left and then let's say boom it goes up and hits my risk i just saved myself 100 bucks because i stopped out 10 cents with a thousand shares rather than you know with 2000 shares but um, exactly it's, yeah it's just like you have to combat the problem with it is you have to combat your own kind of stubbornness and like willingness to, to be right. Like it's like, Oh, I have to be right on this setup. But yep. um, a lot of times that's why it helps where like, I just kind of blindly just do it. I just mark it out right when it's kind of next to my average, even if it's like a cent or two loss, just so this way I don't get stubborn. I'm like, all right, my fucking average, whatever, take it off. And I can reattack. And then nine times out of 10, if you do that, you could reattack with the clearer head and you know, go from there. Every time, man, yeah. it's, it, we've said it's it before, but mean. bro, what the market giveth, the market <laughs> Can, can and will take and it. will take it that's away. A good, that's a good one. I like that. It will do Dude, it, and it can take taketh more, more. Yes, if. <laughs> and it can taketh take more it more if than it giveth. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid and, holding overnight. Yeah, more if. Oh yeah, holding overnight's uh, pretty scary. Yeah, avoid holding overnight, especially as a new trader. Only um, if you have tiny size, me like. Exactly. Yeah. And I, I wanted size. to add that in here, but I knew we would say it. Yeah. Uh, you know, but <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to actually put that, in, but just as a rule and whole avoid holding overnight in these periods, yeah. play setups that are going wildly in your favor rather than against you. Market related headlines can and can potentially damage your position badly, and you can't yeah. easily exit. Especially if you're like trading after options, hours, you or can't exit market? after hours. You just you're just there. You're like, well, mm -hmm. fuck me. Here we go. And yeah, like so, and after hours, nothing you can do. You can get knocked. Yeah, it's like the bid, if the, like the fucking bid just drops and shit just keep like waterfalls. I mean, nothing you can do. And there's so, nothing you can do. So another smart thing to do is wait for the first 15 minutes of the morning to settle out. This is the time when there's a lot of emotions. 
and the most emotional price action occurs during this time. Obviously, there's a high percentage of profit available in this time because of the emotions, but if you pick the wrong side, oh man, it can really oh, get nasty very yeah. fast. And the problem very, very with fast. picking the wrong side is you're like, oh, it's at my stop. Let me give it a couple more cents. Exactly. Oh, a couple more cents. What if it was fake? Like, you know, a couple yeah. fake breakout, a couple more cents. Oh shit, I'm down a dollar. And yeah. now I'm <laughs> your headlights. Like, ah. And now it's either going to go back to break even or max loss <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna head out i don't know if you're gonna like finish up some questions if anyone has joe but i'm gonna make like a baby and head, head out. out so thanks guys have a great night see ya laters thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here